the dangers of dehydration. Now, water is considered the universal solvent. If you want to detoxify yourself, my goodness, drink water. Drink a lot of water and detoxify yourself. Water in, uh, I don't know if this slide shows this. There's a mantra yeah, in planetary cosmology that where there's water, there may be life. No water, no life. Water's important. Most people don't even drink enough water. It's the most essential nutrient in the human body. Uh, anybody have an idea of the number one thing that happens when you don't drink enough water? It happens very quickly. What is it? You get ill. What's that? You get ill. Well, so, that could be a myriad of things. Cellular breakdown, but I, I'm trying to bring it more, more toward a, uh, a more common thing. Dehydration. Headaches, but you get dry skin. I mean, the organism as a whole starts to dry out. I've always said that if people who are concerned about their dry skin truly understood that, we, we'd, the earth would probably dry up in a day because people would be drinking so much water. Uh, even in view of this, people don't drink enough water. It's estimated that over 75% of all Americans are chronically dehydrated. And there's so much controversy about how much water you should drink. Uh, maybe a month ago, there was something in the news about, no, you don't need to drink 8 to 12 glass. You know, as soon as, as something gets important, we, we, we've got the naysayers coming out that this is nonsense. No, you don't need to drink enough water. Uh, oh, goodness. Here's the water man. This is a, a really interesting slide. You, you've got people with chronic sinus problems. Let, let, let me explain how drinking water helps sinuses. Most people don't understand that when your sinuses get plugged up, people think, this is swollen. I, I need to shrink it. But what actually happens is, is as your sinuses dry out, your membranes swell. They're dehydrated. That's why sometimes just squirting some, some water into your nose can help that. What happens is the membranes swell, then they crack. Now you've got avenues for infection. Whammo. You've got infected sinuses all over needing to drink some water. Your digestion can't work right without enough water. You can't, uh, you can't excrete enzymes in hydrochloric acid. I, I was just talking to someone before uh, this talk about how the, 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 the Chinese got it right in the sense that they prehydrate before they eat. Sit down, drink some tea for half an hour or so. Tea's gone, bring out the food. Europeans in general understand that you don't want to dilute your digestive enzymes at a meal. Uh, in Europe, you have maybe a little bit of wine and you clear the palate after you've eaten. Here, I mean, I can remember as a kid, what was sitting there? A, a pitcher of milk. You drank two, three glasses of milk with your dinner and left with this bolus of soup in your stomach. God knows if you ever digested any of it. But you don't want to sit down to a meal dehydrated either. Not good. Without water, cells cannot grow, reproduce, survive. Someone back there mentioned that. Cellular death without enough water. Water regulates body temperature. A lot of older people, and I could talk to you about the topic of geriatric dehydration till each and every one of you are in a coma. Because I, I, I lived it with both my parents who passed away a few years ago. And there was a constant battle dealing with dehydration. A lot of geriatrics are constantly cold because they basically don't have enough blood volume to keep the body warm. A lot of people overheat because they don't have enough blood volume. Their blood is as thick as 70 weight motor oil. Blood pressure goes up when you're dehydrated. You've got a thicker viscous fluid being pumped. How many people just need to hydrate to normalize their blood pressure? We'll never know because you're not going to get that uh, recommendation from uh, a, a, a clinic.
classic uh, cardiologist. I mean, can you imagine going to a cardiologist and being asked, how much water did you drink today? <laughs> I don't think so. Most people have been chronically dehydrated for so long that it's estimated that 37% of Americans have lost their thirst mechanism. They actually think they're hungry when they're thirsty. We've heard this before, haven't we? It's really true. Who here has ever had late night hunger and said, you know, I'm not going to eat that box of Oreos. I'm going to get a glass of water and drank it and you weren't so hungry. Has that ever happened to anyone in here? Yes. It's true. Even mild dehydration can run your system down. Athletes are very aware of this, very aware of this. An athlete does not want to enter a competition in a dehydrated state. It's known as euhydration. That's E-U and then hydration. You are in a normal balanced. You don't want to be overhydrated. You don't want to have to uh, go to the bathroom. You want to be euhydrated. Uh, this reference is a study that was done that talks about 100% of the dieters in the study at a University of Washington uh, study that, that lack of water, uh, well, that, that, that a glass of water shut down their hunger <clears throat> pangs. Lack of water is the number one trigger of uh, daytime fatigue, probably because of electrolyte imbalance. Here's an interesting thing as a chiropractor. The thought that you can reduce joint pain just through hydration. And uh, I'll tell you, I just recently saw, uh, I get a channel called uh, Link TV, I believe it's called. It's either Link TV or Democracy Now, but they have, they have um, lectures that have been taped that are all done at the University of Washington. And it's as if you're a doctor in the amphitheater in the audience and lectures are going on. I usually tune into them when they're about arthritis and the spine and things like that. And they had on a uh, very famous person. Has anyone ever heard of uh, Dr. Stedman and the Stedman Clinic in, I believe it's Boulder, Colorado? He's like the knee doctor in the world. If you've got a messed up knee, big athlete, multi-million dollar athlete, you go see Dr. Stedman. And he was asked what was the most interesting thing that he's learned in his career. And it was interesting. He talked about the capsule around your knee. And that as that capsule shrinks, the knee becomes compressed and there's more grinding going on in your knee. Imagine what would be the quickest way to get that capsule to shrink? Dehydration. Get yourself chronically dehydrated. 